Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models, my name is Bob Waldron and in this video we're going to be taking a look at um, Kitty Hawk's Super Attended. Now this is 148 scale uh, and it is a brand new tool from 2016, this is their initial release box. Um, so nice box art on the front, let's just open this up, this is the first time I've actually opened this up. Straight away we have our instructions let's just jump into these nice color um on sort of like the front straight away lays out into some nice markings and decal call outs and stencil call outs uh, the actual instruction side of things we're talking black and white but it does look clear enough to bring this all together starting off with cockpit front wheel well um, and then we bring sort of like the nose fuselage section together with all your cockpit and everything um, we've got uh, engines, um, we've got the centre part of our fuselage, bringing them all together um, and looking pretty sort of simple. Um, you might have a bit of a problem with say this join here. Um, these joins are normally a bit sort of, yeah, you know, with any sort of manufacturer to be honest. Kitty Hawks, you know, pretty sort of good fit. They're not the best though. Um, you may have problems there. Uh, moving along, we're now in this confusing thing. That They've done this before. Um, we now have some lovely um, um, paint, paint schemes and markings. Hopefully, as you can see here, absolutely looking pretty cool. Uh, if we fold this out, we've then got um, and a really sort of nice um, um, call out just there. Let's have a look if there's another one. Yes, of course, there's another one just here. So we've got some pretty sort of fancy um, markings that we can choose from. Um, but then we do have this thing going on where you sort of kind of have this in there. Maybe you're supposed to pull them out or something, but um, there's another set of markings. Uh, let's just close that up. Um, everything else looks pretty simple. It looks like we can move things like ailerons, flaps, um, and, and stuff like that. We can have, uh, what else have we got? I think we've got stuff like air brakes that we can have open or closed as well. So, you know, nice couple of options here. Uh, does come with um, a ladder and it does look like it comes with a whole bunch of weapons to load this out with which yes it does look like that and then we've got this sort of nice loader i do like these because it sort of gives it that realistic touch folding it out and another set of markings um cannot wait to see the decal um sheet for this because there is um i can't remember how many there was there's was about maybe six or seven in there um, so let's move along let's let's get the decals because um there was a lot of lovely uh, markings in those instructions which they're right at the bottom here right, ooh, here we go looks like we've got a couple of um, sheets actually and while we're in here we've got some photo etch right, so let's just get these out it's not like a massive sheet of decals so here's our first decal sheet which um, hopefully you can see we've got um, loads and loads of tiny little decals they feel nice and thin um, everything looks like everything's all the colors are in registry nothing's out of place um, the colors look good the small writing I mean you know has got a nice readable factor to it um, lovely sort of markings on here we've got another decal sheet just here as well because we've got again all those different markings going on with that as well um, moving along we've got another tiny little um, set of decals here I don't know if this is like some sort of correction maybe or maybe they've missed something out because um, We've sort of got the same thing going on just here, uh, but that's something you can look through the instructions at. We then also get a little bit of photo etch with this. Um, I'm sort of seeing probably a bit of uh, cockpit detail, so maybe 
um, um, intake fans maybe we've got some seat belts as well nice little touch to add to it um, which considering how much this kit costs which is around about 29 99 which is not a bad price at all let's take a look at our first sprues which looks like we're just like caked in a load and load of weaponry so let's open this up and see what we've got um kitty Oak's normally quite good for like giving us loads and loads of weapons um uh, we have i mean this is like sort of french weapons and stuff so i'm not completely uh, up to date and ah, we've got this fold thing they do so we need to get out some cutters and open this up um it is a strange thing they do they sort of um sort of heat these parts up and then melt them over um just for you know i don't know for packaging reasons and stuff um, looks like we've got some um lgbs um all sorts of bombs um looks like we've got sidewinders um and all sorts of bombs weapons missiles absolutely loads on here um, our bombs they do have like recess panel lines i'm seeing recess rivets not really seeing anything nasty in the lines of um, um flash uh, but we do have some pretty nice big big weapons in fact we are we are looking at some pretty good detail if you can sort of see for all these weapons and um, some multi um, missile launcher uh, well rocket launcher just there with some nice detail inside there uh, looks like we've got sensor pods as well again again lovely detail all around we've also got loads of free fall bombs by the looks of it also really sort of kitting this kit out uh, then we have another set of weapons just cutting this apart as well uh, we've got look, what looks like a nice fuel tank uh, just here uh, more sort of weapons as you can see uh, again you know I don't know all these weapons but hopefully you're sort of making out what they are and they are loads of them we've got another sprue same level detail as well all the way along right lovely lovely weapons then we've got some like um, pylons and stuff here also. But yeah, if you were familiar with your French aircraft and stuff, you're going to love the array of weapons that are in here, um, which you're not going to probably use them all. So it is going to be good to put in your bits box to have a load of weapons um, for all that. So let's look at our um, glass parts now. Um, I'm looking at these and they are looking crystal clear. Not seeing any cracks not seeing any sort of nasty cobweb effects um just nice clear all the way through top notch for the canopies there let's get out some proper surface detail which is going to be oh yeah we've got some wings and stuff here and on here you can see we've got a nice big sprue looking in closely at um, the surface detail we have got all sorts of lovely rivet work all on here which is looking good um, one or two recessed panel lines it is looking crisp looking sharp again not really seeing any flash on this kit which it shouldn't be because I mean it is um, you know only about a year's old um, since it was new tooled um, got all sorts of bits of detail I think this is maybe some cockpit detail maybe um, maybe an air intake or an exhaust just here and moving along looking good let's turn this over let's see if we've got any nasty eject pin marks in some places you don't really want them it looks like we've got some wheel well stuff here or something but no eject pin marks in there um, we do have them here we have I think these are our um air brakes and yeah there's one or two eject pin marks in there i've um, got some more detail here but no eject pin marks in there not bad not bad at all looking really cool and um, then we've got some of our sort of fuselage detail just in here although the fuselage is a lot of different pieces that need to be brought together um, first off um, we've got sort of like the front nose section we've got um, all sorts of sort of recess detail again I'm feeling a bit of raised rivets just up here and um, some fans 
all sorts of surface detail there is a lot of lovely um, rivet work on here by the way a um, little bit of flash actually around our um, front nose section just here um, but it's nothing to really sort of um, moan about really um, again we've got some engine detail here I do believe um, not bags of it but you know it's there um, some more surface detail just here with raised areas recessed areas um, turning it over for ejector pin marks um, yes we do have ejector pin marks um, in where the cockpit area is but the actual cockpits um, it's all one piece that then glues into there so you haven't got to worry about that um, wheel well door we've got no ejector pin marks there but we have got a load of lovely detail inside there which is rather rather nice to see next big sprue we have here we've got um, a whole bunch of um, fuel tanks which is rather cool I do like fuel tanks they make the models look beefy more surface detail along here absolutely lovely surface detail sorry here is our um, engine um, area which has actually got a hell of a lot of lovely detail on there as you can see all sorts of wiring buttons and and pipes and hoses and all that kind of stuff actually rather rather nice inside massive ejector pin marks inside here that isn't very nice but maybe you won't see it it looks like we've got fans that go into here and there maybe but those are quite massive we've got some lovely um fuselage um surface detail here actually really nice detail even when it curves over to the 90 degree angle it doesn't lose any of that detail it doesn't fade away and, and especially sort of under here as well doesn't fade away underneath here which is rather rather nice um, and then we've got all sorts of little bits and bobs in around with all sorts of lovely detail with this kit uh, we've got some wheels down this section here a um, little bit sort of maybe a bit bland but you know there is some detail there uh, eject pin marks i'm not really seeing anything major um, we then come to our last sprue which is all our lovely cockpit, cockpit detail all on the one sprue which is rather kind of cool so let's just get this out without breaking anything right and if we have a close look we have first off we've got uh, a jet seat right we've got lovely detail on here with um, um, raised rivets looks nice and crisp we've got some sort of um, cockpit detail just here with all sorts of um, buttons and dials and and all that kind of stuff uh, a bit of a seat bit there which will go into the ejector seat um, the walls of our cockpit which has got bits of wiring raised recesses um, more side walls for our cockpit again good detail in there the back part of our cockpit area again lovely detail there maybe those rivet recess rivets are a bit sort of out of scale a bit too big maybe but still looks pretty pretty sweet um, and then looking around on the opposite side um, we do have ejector pin marks um, here and there but hopefully they're not going to be visible or in the way we've even got our ladders just here also um, which is a nice added little extra so all in all do you know what there is a lot of plastic here for your money there's a lot of markings a lot of decals a bit of photo etch um, for 20 pounds uh, 29 pounds 99 um, you really cannot grumble at this kit it's um, a really sort of nice cheap um, you know a, a bargain really for what you get um, hopefully it fits together um, reasonably well I've got a feeling you're gonna have a few little issues with um, um, you know going on Kitty Hawk's rec uh, track record as well as the way the instructions look you're probably going to have a, the odd little problem, but you know, you, you can sort of do your usual fill in, sand inscribe, and all that kind of stuff. And it should build into a pretty lovely, impressive model. So, um, hopefully, you've enjoyed this inbox review here at Genesis Models. So, until next time, my name is Bob Waldron, and I hope you've enjoyed.